Hey guys, welcome to Healthy Wealthy Skinny, where we focus on the steps to help you live a healthy, wealthy, and skinny life. Today we're going to talk about 50 frugal tips to help you thrive this year. Let's take a moment and define what we mean by frugal living. Living a frugal lifestyle means spending less and being resourceful and not wasteful. Like most things, there are different levels to frugal living, but today I'll be focusing on frugal living tips that aren't too extreme, things that anyone can do without too much of a hassle. Before I dive into my 50 frugal tips, let's talk about some of the benefits of living frugal. Some of these include saving money, being more financially stable, reducing anxiety and stress, your money worries will be lower, and also reducing clutter. You'll learn how to live more with less. So let's get to it. Let's go through my 50 frugal tips. I'm gonna break them up into four main categories. Frugal living tips to help you save money on food, frugal living tips that will help you save money on your utilities, frugal living tips that will help you save money when you're shopping, and finally, frugal living tips that will help you manage your finances. Let's start with my 22 tips for saving money on food. You're gonna purchase frugal foods. You're gonna make frugal meals. You're gonna use cashback apps like Abata. You're gonna implement meal planning. You can stop eating out and cook more at home. You're gonna purchase a deep freezer. You're gonna set a food budget. You're gonna sh grocery shop once a week. You're gonna only buy the foods that's on your grocery list. You're gonna shop with a grocery list. You're gonna buy generic brands. You can grow your own vegetables. And this might seem a little extreme, but you might find it fun. You're gonna buy your pantry staples in bulk. You can eat less meat. Everybody's heard of Meatless Monday. You're gonna keep a price log. This will help you track your prices when you're grocery shopping. You're gonna shop the perimeter of the grocery store. You're gonna eat healthy foods. Drink water instead of soda, tea, and juices. Eat leftovers. Remember, you're cooking at home now. You're gonna pack lunches instead of eating out at work. Grow your own herbs and spices. Again, this one might sound a little extreme, but you can start an herb garden right on your windowsill. And how about taking your own coffee to work? Let's move on to frugal tips for saving money on your utilities. Turn down the heat. You should also turn off lights when not in use. Use sunlight on sunny days instead of your overhead lighting. Unplug unused appliances. This is something we've started trying to do in my house and it's a biggie. Line dry your clothes. Now this one I find hard, but it'll save you on using your dryer. Hand wash your dishes. And let's face it, most of the time they come out better if you hand wash them anyway, instead of using your dishwasher. You should do full loads of laundry. You should also wash your clothes in cold water. Studies have shown that your clothes get just as clean if you wash them in cold water instead of hot water. You should repair leaky faucets and running toilets. This can make a huge difference on your water bill. You're gonna install energy efficient light bulbs. You're going to cut the cord. And I always talk about this. You're gonna get rid of cable. Get yourself an Amazon Fire Stick and you're on your way. You can watch all of the shows that you watch now. I'm gonna leave a link to a post in the description that tells you all about how to cut the cord and still watch all of your favorite shows. And last but not least, you're going to drop your landline. I'm not sure how many people out there still have a landline, and unless you have a reason based on where you live or because of your job, another thing to do is just cut that landline. Most of us use cell phones anyway. Let's move on to tips that'll help you save money when you're shopping. You're gonna use cashback apps when you're shopping. Ebates is great when you're shopping online, and when I'm shopping in a brick and mortar store, I like to use Dosh. You just connect your debit card or your credit card, and you shop like you normally will, and you'll automatically get cash back on the stores that are associated with the Dosh app. Also, a great place to shop online is Amazon. And if you get an Amazon Prime membership, you save on shipping, and you get your items in two days. I am in love with Amazon Prime. 
You're gonna check prices on Amazon before you make a purchase. I found that a lot of times, things that are I find in a store or something that I might want on another website online is a lot cheaper if I purchase it on Amazon. So I always check Amazon first before I buy something. You can also buy used items on sites like Craigslist or Let Go or Poshmark or the Facebook Marketplace. We found great items for our home by looking on the Facebook Marketplace first and buying things for people in our area. You should use a price comparison app like Shop Savvy, and this is available on Android and iOS, so we all can use it. Don't shop to make yourself feel better. When it comes to gifts, you can try making homemade gifts, and you can buy clothes out of season, and this is one that I learned from my mom. All right. Now we're going to talk about frugal living tips to help you manage those finances. You want to create a budget that's easy to maintain. You want to make sure you start saving money. You want to track your daily expenses. And I'll leave a link in the description to a daily expense tracker that'll help you do that simply and easily. You want to try making extra money with a side hustle. And this can be anything. You can use the skills that you already have to make a little extra money. I can tell you a little bit about those too. And guess what? Link in the description. You can sell your unneeded items on Let Go. So you know earlier I said you can buy things from Let Go or Poshmark or the Facebook Marketplace. You can sell your unwanted items on these platforms as well. You can try having a no spin day or a no spin week. You should carpool when possible. If you've got coworkers going the same way, jump in the car together. You're gonna save some money. You can use Groupon to save on outings. They have a lot of good Groupons. I love Groupons for Studio Movie Grill to go and see movies for $5. And you guys know that is a steal. You can use Groupons for going to get massages, going to spas, for things with the kids, going to bowling alleys or amusement park. Groupons are great. You should establish an emergency fund. An emergency fund covers you if anything happens. This is one of those key financial tips that helps keep you out of debt. An emergency fund is definitely something you need. You might initially start off with a thousand dollar emergency fund, but your goal should be three to six months of your monthly expenses. And finally, you should manage your finances with a financial planner. And guess what? We have a financial planner in our Healthy Wealthy Skinny Shop. It comes in various colors and it's very easy to use. You should go check it out. So that's it. We've gone through 50 frugal tips to help you thrive this year. I hope you found these tips helpful and easy to implement in your day-to-day -day life. And you might not implement them all, but start small, start doing the little things that you can do and gradually increase and you'll find yourself saving more money and living a more frugal lifestyle. Hey guys, that's all I have for today. I hope you loved this content, found it super useful and actionable. If you did, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Also, give us a little thumbs up and drop a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Until next time, bye-bye.